Hello everyone, Angela O'Hare here. Of course, you know, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm over here at Costalana. I guess it would be Costalana 2, the two-story collection. And we're doing a final walkthrough of my client's home. They bought the Magnolia. They bought it as a spec home, so all options were selected. Um, it's 2451 square feet. This floor plan can have three to five bedrooms. I do believe my client has four bedrooms and a loft. Um, either two to three bathrooms, which we have three bathrooms, two car garage, and the starting price is $658,900. Um, most of the homes here, Castellana 2 is pretty much closing out. It should be, if not, may have a few lots left. And most of them are what's spec homes where all options have been selected. So the Magnolia, they do not have this one modeled. This is my third Castellana home that I've sold in this community. I've sold a Sequoia, a Juniper, and now the Magnolia. Um, so these were the pre-selected tiles, which is beautiful. Um, and when you do a walkthrough with new construction, you point out all the flaws and the defects, and you put the blue tape. Obviously, they have a lot of painting that they need to do. And typically, we'll do the walkthrough a week before closing. So um, after we're done, we're supposed to close next week on this home. So the Magnolia kind of, in a way, to me, feels like the Sequoia downstairs. Your dining room table is going to go here, your living room right there. And then you have this beautiful, nice, large, oversized island with the white quartz countertops and then you have the oven microwave and the nice chocolate uh, it's like a gray undertone shaker cabinets and the beautiful silver hardware and it comes with a water filtration system the nice tile backsplash. And let's go take a peek in the backyard. I'll replace this slider. So you have the backyard. It's pre-wired for two ceiling fans. When you do buy new construction, the backyard does not come, sorry, the lighting is a little weird, does not come landscape. The only thing that the backyard will come is the pavers. Um, underneath the patio everything else is desert and you have a year to get your home fully landscaped um, then on this side oftentimes or all new construction homes on the side of the house you're gonna have this big ditch or not, it's not big but you're gonna have this ditch for drainage purposes and you're gonna have a ditch in the middle of the yard now if they wanted to put a pool which is a pool size lot they could just make this into a smaller retaining wall to make the large a little yard a little larger. It's bright out today. Love that it's fall, kind of. The weather's finally cooling down. It's a windy day today. Then you have the two AC units. One's for upstairs and one's for downstairs. And it is, I think there is, no, I don't know if there's a barbecue stub. I saw the spigot. Oh yeah, there's a barbecue stub. That's usually an upgrade. a decent sized pantry then you have a whoops three-quarters bath downstairs mirrors are on back order and they should be coming and so shall the glass for this shower Then you have the full bedroom with closet and it's pre-wired for a ceiling fan, which is nice. Now, if, I don't know if you guys ever know this, but 
Anytime you see a light switch or these switches that are upside down, it's called the half hot, meaning that one of these switches, if you put a light right there, it can control and turn on the light from over here if you plug it in right there, FYI. They did get the Smurf tube, which they call it Smurf tube. There's a tube that goes down from here all the way to there to hang your beautiful big screen TV. I think the Sequoia model is like 2,600 square feet. This is 200 square feet smaller. But the downstairs kind of has a similar feel with the bedroom. The Sequoia has the if, option to have the bedroom downstairs. Then you have your laundry room. And then your smart panel for your low voltage and your fiber optics all go through there. Then your primary bedrooms back there, a loft, and then two bedrooms are right here. And they, they seem to be pretty good size. All the bedrooms are pre-wired for a ceiling fan, which is nice. And this has a, a good size walk-in closet. Then you have a bathroom here with the double vanity, the cultured marble and the builder grade tub shower insert. And here is bedroom number three. Yeah, these are pretty good size. This feels like maybe a 14 by 14. Again, pre-wired for a ceiling fan. And then this doesn't have as big of a closet. And then in Summerlin West, they have these um, fire sprinklers. So if it reaches 155 degrees, um, but it has to be in that room, the fire sprinkler will go off only in the location where the fire is at, and if it reaches 155 degrees, FYI. Then you have a great linen closet right here, and a decent size loft that has the four can lights, and it's pre-wired for a ceiling fan. And it also has the smart Smurf tubing right there. Then here is the primary bedroom. That also has the Smurf tubing. Ooh, I didn't see that chip. I got a lot of work to do. I do believe they have the Cat 6 here as well. So this one came with the big shower and they are also waiting for the glass for the shower and all the mirrors. Hopefully sometime this week we will get it all. The primary has the cultured marble with the double sinks and the same counters or cabinets as downstairs. Um, it's a large size vanity. Then you also have another linen closet, which is nice. I like that when they have two linen closets, I would probably make this into like a shoe closet or a purse closet for me. <laughs> And then you have your own separate toilet and then the primary closet, which is a decent size. You can get a custom closet made in here and it'd look really nice and maybe put a little island in the middle of the closet. That would be really nice. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? Um, let me turn that off. That's annoying as that. Nope. Let's see. So yeah, all these options my client did not pick out. And I don't remember how much they paid. I think it was over 700,000. I wanna say 791,000. I could be wrong. Oh, another thing I wanna point out too is when you buy new construction homes, especially in the primary bathroom and bedroom, there is no door. This is very standard here in Vegas. Um, only very few builders that I've seen put doors into the primary bathroom. FYI on that. So yeah, they got a bit of work to do, especially since we're closing soon. Um, but that wraps it up. So to surmise, I'm over here at Costalana. This is considered Costalana 2 for the two-story homes. And this is the Magnolia model, what, 2451 square feet. This particular house has four bedrooms 
two, a loft and three bathrooms with a two-car garage. The base price for this community is six fifty-eight nine hundred. That is just the base price. And I don't even know if they have dirt lots for you to purchase off of the base price. Actually, let's go into the garage real quick. I'm gonna lock the front door. And then we'll go into the garage. That way I don't have to come back. Okay, let's check out what the garage looks like. This is interesting, this little nook right here. I mean, I think it would be perfect. You can put a nice little cabinet and make it a place where you put your keys as you're coming in the house. So the garage is a two car garage with an automatic garage door opener. You do have the tankless water heater system and it is plumbed for a water softener. And the nice thing is, let's just do a quick scan. And the nice thing is, is that they have the garage door to the side of the house, which is nice. Um, I always like to have access to my backyard from the garage. When you buy new construction, the front yard is always landscaped with, and it also has pavers for the driveway and pavers for the walkway. If you're thinking about buying new construction here in the Summerlin area, I am your new home sales expert. I sell a lot of new construction in Summerlin. Reach out to me and give me a call at 702-370-5112. As always, make sure you like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you think of all of these videos that I do. Thank you so much for watching. Here's my car, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.